Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of adnexal hemorrhagic cyst. A young married female patient came with left lower abdominal pain. On ultrasound, you can see a well-defined complex cystic structure with internal solid components and reticular pattern noted at the left adnexal region. Left ovary could not be separately visualized, which indicates that this might be of left ovarian origin. The right ovary looks quite normal and the features of the lesion suggest hemorrhagic cyst. The features of hemorrhagic cyst is well visualized if you magnify the image. So magnifying the image with the zoom function of the machine shows a very good detail of the lesion. You can see the solid component representing the blood clot and fine hyperechogenic linear structures suggesting the fibrin thread which are the features of typical hemorrhagic cyst. Now here is the picture of the uterus of this patient, the measurement of which was within normal limit and the left adnexal hemorrhagic cyst was about 4.7 into 3.4 cm. We have rechecked this patient after 6 weeks and fortunately we have found nothing on the left adnexa except a normal ovary which suggests a very good resorption of the lesion. Now here is the picture of the right ovary on the right image and the left adnexal hemorrhagic cyst on the left one. How can I end the video without any color doppler implementation? Color doppler shows no vascularity within the lesion and the most adjacent blood vessel shows high resistant flow pattern. The resistive index was 0.7 and the wave pattern shows the feature of uterine arterial origin because there is an early diastolic notch present within the wave. So this virtually excludes the chance of differential diagnosis that is ectopic pregnancy. So in summary, a well-defined oval complex cystic structure with posterior acoustic enhancement, internal reticular pattern and solid avascular components is noted at the left adnexal region. The left ovary could not be separately visualized. Color Doppler shows no internal vascularity. High resistant flow of ovarian arterial origin is noted adjacent to the lesion. Now the take-home masses. Color Doppler is a useful tool to evaluate the adnexal lesions, especially when you need to make a decision between benign and malignant or hemorrhagic cyst and ectopic pregnancy. We'll discuss more about Color Doppler on our next videos. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on other social platforms. All the necessary links are given on the description box below. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.